friends, having a plasma cutter is pretty cool. But you know what's even cooler? Having a CNC plasma cutter. Now, I actually know what it takes to make a CNC machine, but that's a lot of floor space and a lot of resources that I just don't have. So what I'm going to do is the next best thing, a plasma cutter pantograph. That's today's project. The basis for my plasma pantograph is going to be my hydraulic press that I use here in the shop. Um, I'm, that way I can still use it as the hydraulic press and the pantograph will just hang off one side of it. It's heavy enough that I should be able to do that. One issue though is the, the press frame is pretty wobbly because it's just bolted together. So one thing I'm going to do first is uh, tighten it up, square it up, and then weld all the joints because they're just bolted right now. I've sanded all the paint off the areas that are going to be welded. I made new outrigger legs up here because the old ones were too small. Now the last thing to do before I can actually weld it together is to uh, make sure it's square. And the way you do that is you measure diagonally one way, then diagonally the other way. And if it's the same, it's square. So we'll do that right now. Okay, now it's square. I can go ahead and tack it in place. Now it's tacked, we'll measure it. And it's still the same, so we'll go ahead and weld it up. Well, I've cut a bunch of tubes that are going to be my articulating arms of the pantograph, and I'm going to use uh, half-inch bolts as my pivots. I'm not going to put any bearings in there. I'm going to weld two of these onto the side of the hydraulic press, and then I'm going to make an articulating arm out of these tubes. Uh, one thing that I want to make sure on, on each and every one of these is that the hole is in the same place in relation to the end of the tube. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to drill a pilot hole in one and then I'm going to use that pilot hole, just set it right on top of each tube and use it as my template to drill every hole in every tube. After I get all the holes drilled, then we'll come tack it up and, uh, and make the two articulating arms. Here are my sockets that are going to be welded onto the side of the hydraulic press. Then we'll take these frames and weld them together and we'll use the frame to actually locate these hangers on the hydraulic press. One thing I want to make sure of is that these holes are in the same place. Now I know they're in the same place in relation to the end because I used my template to drill them all. Now I'll just use a framing square to make sure that uh, the ends are the same. This one looks good, ready to tack up. So here's the idea. This one fits inside this one. So you'll notice that this crossbar here is lower than this one over here. And the reason for that is because uh, what I'm going to do is curve the end of this uh, one way so when I fold it together it will lay flat because if I did not curve that, uh, it would only fold about that far flat and I want to be able to store it. So that's the next step is uh, curve that end.
Well, that turned out all right. And uh, here, let's, let's do a little trial assembly. Now, apparently I did not put enough of a bend in it. I'm gonna see if I can just squeeze it a little. Well, that... Always remember, perfection is the enemy of good enough. This is good enough. Okay, so there it is. And it's nice and smooth, so this is gonna work. Now, since I'm gonna have this removable, what I've, what I've done here is I've taken a couple of half inch bolts and cut the threads off them, and these will, this will just slide on. And by putting these in place here, this is how, I, this is how I'm going to locate the, the mounting place for these over on the uh, hydraulic press. So we'll do a test fit here. I've got my hinge hangers in place. Well, this is looking pretty good. This is, this is exactly what I was going for here. All that's left now is to take it back apart and paint it, build the torch holding apparatus with a stylus on it, and then build a pattern holding device. So here's my plasma torch mounting plate and the pivot method I've decided to use is gonna be, a, I'm gonna weld on these coupler nuts and uh, the plasma torch itself will be held onto the plate with these uh, U-bolts here. And the next step is to weld the coupler nuts on and fit it to the articulating arm. Here I'm installing the steel rod that'll later become the stylus after I bend it into place. Okay, so here's my torch holding device, and uh, I've got my uh, stylus that will be bent up into uh, the appropriate place once I get the pattern holder installed and the torch head bolted on. Uh, but uh, you see, we've got a we've got a good range of motion going on here, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it's it's a little stiff here and there but uh, I think it'll wear in pretty well. I'll put some lube on it and, and that'll help. Next step is the pattern holder because I've already tested uh, the torch and, and it, it bolts up to the U-bolts just fine. Okay, so let's talk about the pattern holder for a minute. Uh, I've got some half inch square tubing here and I think all I'm gonna do on it is uh, weld it into a V-shape and then I'm going to uh, bend the arms, uh, just heat them up and bend them at a right angle, and they will slide in to uh, an area where there are a couple of bolts there. They'll just kind of wedge in. Because don't forget, this is still my hydraulic press. I gotta be able to take all this crap off it when I wanna actually use it. So uh, anyway, that's next. Okay, and here's my pattern holder, and all it is, I've bent those two pieces, and I've uh, put a couple of 5 16 bolts there. That's what we'll bolt the pattern up to. And we'll just, I, I, made, this, I made this wider so it'll, so it'll have to spring in there. Okay, now that's, that's pretty good. That's just what I was going for. It's nice and solid. It'll hold my, my plywood pattern in place no problem. Yeah, this is looking good. All right, I got my plasma torch mounted. I got my stylus bent into place and calibrated. Uh, the uh, panograph moves around nice and smoothly. I'm thinking this is gonna work pretty well. So I wanna thank Ray over at the Tab Left Workshop, I asked around uh, friends over there in the uh, YouTube Makers Facebook group and uh, uh, I wanted to find out what I should cut first and Ray come up with the uh, lady from the mud flap. So uh, that uh, won my vote. Uh, some of the others were just way too complex. So what this does is you just put the pattern in place and the pattern holder doesn't take much to hold it in place. And then uh, we'll put the piece of steel underneath here and I'm gonna just pull the trigger manually and then use my other hand to guide the stylus around the edge of the pattern. One other thing this system needs is a table to hold the workpiece. 
but it is ready to test and I am really revved up about getting to that test so I've just rigged up something I'll be building the table at another time and if you want to see the result of that endeavor you can find me on Instagram my name there is wildman.tech anyway let's get on with this test because it's ready to roll make sure you wear your PPE Well, the resolution isn't quite what I was hoping for, but for larger items, I think this will be all right. Um, I'm still going to call it a win, even though this little thing didn't turn out the greatest. That'll buff out, right? So now that our plasma cut job is all done, we just pull the torch off the clamp system, fold up the uh, articulating arm and pull it off, set it aside for a minute, pull the pattern holder out, Set it, set it right there, and hang the articulating arm. Now, that's not bad. So that turned out all right. I might have been a little bit ambitious with my uh, pattern choice for my very first cut, but uh, that's okay. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it should really have a fold-out table that, that would also be integrated onto the uh, hydraulic press chassis. And uh, uh, once again, if you want to see the result of that endeavor, look me up on Instagram. The name there is wildman.tech. As far as the rest of it goes, uh, the articulating arm and the pattern holder both load right onto the frame. They're out of the way. and. Uh, uh, this whole project gave me the reason to finally tear down that hydraulic press, strip it, paint it, and weld it together because it was, it's been wobbly ever since day one because it was just bolted. Um, so that's the project. Anyway, thanks so much for coming by. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.